Good morning everyone. Today we will solve our last topic on slope deflection method. That is analysis of sway frame by slope deflection method. So here is your question and the diagram. Please note it down. Now we have to consider the effect of sway. If frame moves towards right hand side, then 3 delta upon L is considered as negative. But if frame moves toward left hand side, then 3 delta upon L is considered as positive. Now you can see in given frame there is a eccentric load of 50 kN on span BC that is it satisfies point number 1 of non sway frame. So, so if this eccentric load of 50 kN will produce sway in the frame which is on the left hand side. So it will move on the left hand side. Now we will solve on step number one that is to find degree of kinematic indeterminacy. From the frame you can see that there are two unknowns that is theta b and theta c. But our frame is of sway type. Hence delta is also the unknown thing. Hence, there are three unknowns in given problems that is theta b, theta c and delta. Support A and support T are fixed support. Hence, theta A and theta D will be zero. The effect of sway will be on vertical members that is the effect of delta will be on span AB and span CD only. For span BC, delta will remain 0. Now we will solve our step number 2 that is fixed end moments. Span AB and span CD does not consist of any load. Hence MF AB and MF BA will be 0. Similarly, MFCD and MFDC is also 0. Span BC consists of eccentric point load. Hence, MFBC will be minus WAB square upon L square. A is 2 meter, B is 4 meter and L is 6 meter. After putting the values, we will get uh, it has minus 44.44 kN meter. For span CB, it will become plus W A square B upon L square. Hence, it will become 22.22 kN meter. So, this is our step number 2. Now, moving on to our step number 3, that is slope deflection equation. For span AB, we can write MF AB plus 2 EI upon L, 2 into theta A plus theta B plus 3 delta by L. Why plus? Because sway is on left hand side. Hence, there is a plus sign. After putting the values, we will get 0 0.5 EI into theta B plus 0.375 EI into delta. For BA, it will become EI into theta B plus 0.375 EI into delta. Now, for span BC, delta is 0. Hence, MF BC plus 2 EI upon L 2 into theta b plus theta c minus 3 delta upon l. After putting the values, 
we will get minus 44.44 plus 0.67 EI into theta B plus 0.33 EI into theta C. Here delta is 0. This is our equation number 3. Now for span CB, we will get MFCB plus 2 EI upon L in bracket 2 into theta B sorry theta b plus 2 into theta c minus 3 delta upon l after putting we will get 22.22 plus 0.33 ei into theta b plus 0.675 or 0.67 ei into theta c which is our equation number 4 now for span cd we can write mf cd plus 2 ei upon l 2 into theta c plus theta d plus 3 delta upon l. After putting all the values, we will get ei into theta c plus 0.675 ei into delta, which is our equation number 5. Similarly, for dc, after putting all the values, our equation number 6 will be 0.5 ei into theta c plus 0.375 EI into delta. Now moving on to our next step that is step number 4 equilibrium equations. 3 unknowns, 3 equilibrium equations. So from joint B we can write MBA plus MBC is equal to 0. Therefore after putting values we will get 1.67 EI into theta B plus 0.33 EI into theta C plus 0.375 EI into delta is equal to 44.44 which is our equation A. From joint C we can write MCB plus MCD is equal to 0. Therefore 0.33 EI into theta B plus 1.67 EI into theta C plus 0.675 EI into delta is equal to minus 22.22 which is our equation number 2. Now our third equation will be from horizontal equilibrium equation that is from shear equation that is summation H is equal to 0. So HA plus HD is equal to 0. How to write HA? HA is nothing but MAB plus MBA divided by L. L is nothing but length of span AB. Similarly for HD we can write MCD plus MDC divided by L. L is also length of span CD. After putting all the values and doing calculations we will get 0.375 EI into theta B plus 0.375 EI into theta C plus 0.375 EI into delta which is equal to 0 which is our equation C. So solving equation A, equation B and equation C we will get our unknowns that is theta B 33.76 upon EI theta C minus 15.99 upon EI and delta as minus 17.78 upon EI. We have to put all the values in our for six equations, then we will get our final end moments. After putting all the values in equation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, we will get final end moments as MAB plus 10.26 kN meter. MBA plus 27.10 kN meter, MBC minus 27.10 kN meter, MCB 22.81, MCD minus 22.81 and MDC as minus 14.67. All these moments are final end moments. Using these moments, we will draw our final superimposed BMD. So to draw 
will consider minus plus plus minus so a so m a b if a b is minus the point will be on the left hand side a b is plus so it will be on the right hand side b a is plus so plus is on this side join these two points that is 27.10 and 10.26 for b c that is b and c minus is on the upper side so minus 27.10 22 on minus plus plus minus 22.81 it will be on the upper side as well so join this and cd dc so it will be minus cd minus on this one not this side and dc is on this side see okay so we will draw our final b and d Is this is our twenty seven point one zero? Is twenty two point eight one? This is minus twenty two point eight one and minus fourteen point six seven. And this will be W A B by L.